In this video, we're going to take a quick look at one of the uh, ways that a, a, an attacker would take advantage of CVE 2016-3238 or Microsoft 16087. Um, this is a really interesting uh, printer vulnerability that can be used both to infect an end user but also allow an attacker to uh, spread and infect lots of users inside of a network and we're going to be looking in this video at that latter use case where an attacker is already inside a network environment and they can use this vulnerability to compromise a printer and then use that printer to spread to lots of other hosts in the network so the first thing that the attacker can do is try to replace the printer driver that normally resides on that printer and to do so he would either you know directly attack the printer uh, via an exploit or maybe just log in with a standard unchanged uh, username and password such as admin admin but once on that machine he can replace the normal printer driver with a malicious driver um, and the dangerous thing here is that in many environments to make it easier for users to just point and print the printer drivers are going to be delivered to that requesting user uh, without checks and this is a system level driver which gives the attacker once that malicious code runs at system level pretty much full control over that machine so it could connect from the compromised machine open a command shell back to the attacker or do anything uh, that the attacker really uh, wants the malware to do. Um, of course, this isn't just a one-time event. This process would repeat over and over as new users connected to that printer, each one getting infected. So it provides a really, really um, kind of insidious and quiet way for an attacker to spread malware and spread the scope of his attack uh, within a network. So let's quickly go see what this would look like in a, uh, a real-world scenario. Okay, here we are looking at a virtual environment, and on the right side of the screen, we essentially are seeing the attacker's world, and on the left-hand side of the screen, we're seeing uh, the victim. The attacker is just running your standard Metasploit framework. It has a payload handler opening, uh, waiting for uh, the return of an attack. On the left hand side of the screen we have the victim machine, a Windows 7 machine. Probably the thing that's really important to point out here is system name because we're going to see that in uh, a few seconds. Um, the username uh, obviously is running as hacker. Now if we just go and connect to a print server just like you would normally uh, try to connect to a printer, you're going to connect and it's going to look for the driver that it would pull from that printer or print server. While that's happening, this malicious driver is coming down in the background and you can see a command shell pop open on the attacker side on the right. And if we look to see uh, what level we're running at, we will do a quick check and it will return, as we saw earlier, the VN test reverser, so we're running at system level. So now we have system level control over this machine. So really, really powerful, uh, but simple. Uh, way of taking over that host and of course now we can repeat this uh, process uh, pretty much indefinitely.